हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू क्लाउड पाठशाला माय नेम इज मनिंदर टुडे इज टॉपिक इज अबाउट माइग्रेशन ऑफ वीएम्स फ्रॉम एडब्ल्यूएस टू अजोर कंसोल दिस माइग्रेशन वी विल परफॉर्म यूजिंग अजोर माइग्रेट सर्विस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू सेट अप हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर अजोर माइग्रेट सर्विस टू माइग्रेट वीएम्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट यू हैव टू लॉग इन टू योर कंसोल एंड गो टू अजोर माइग्रेट सर्विस here what we will do uh, we will create a project for server migration click on discover server here uh, you can use the existing resource group or you can create the new one so i am creating new one as i don't have any existing one Let's create migrate rg here you have to give the project name you can give any name so i am giving aws azure and reason you have to select the target reason where you want to migrate your virtual machines so i'm selecting india let's create the project okay so our project is ready you can see uh, this is in two part first is assessment tool second is migration tool so in this video we'll see the assessment tools how we can discover build analyze and assess let's start with the discover part here we have to select the virtualization part are we migrating the vms from vmware hyper-v or any public cloud or physical server so here we will go with the third option as we are migrating the vms from aws select third one now you have to generate the key for your appliance appliance is what we want to deploy for this migration so first i'm creating the key aws key okay it is initializing meanwhile what i will do i'll create a ec2 instance where we will configure the migration roles migration setup Okay, let's create the instance so this migration appliance should be at the source location from where we are migrating our virtual machines okay here we have to give the name of our virtual machine select the os type i'm selecting windows and the configuration i'm selecting 2 cpu 4 gb ram or 4 cpu 16 gb ram keep here i have the existing one so instance type you can select as per the load i am selecting here 4 cpu 16 gb ram because i am migrating only one vm not more than one vm let's select the key pair next key pair is the existing one i am using next is networking part security group i do have the existing one okay let's create the instance So it will take some time let's wait for some time refresh it okay our vm is ready let's access this vm and we will configure the migration services i am taking the rdp of this machine this is our ec2 instance what we have created in our aws account okay let's go back to azure console here we have to download the migration appliance file copying the link and downloading in the vm itself let's go to the browser here i am pasting the link so it will download the file okay this is our file it's downloaded extracted
So it is taking time in extraction. Okay, it's done. You can see these are the files which we will get after extracting the file. Here you can see the three files. There's a PowerShell scripts which we have to run, which will take care of all the operations. So I'm running the first one. Azure Migrate Installer. It will install and configure all the parts. You don't need to change anything. You just have to run the script. So click on run. First, it is asking the environment VMware, Hyper-V or AWS. I'm selecting third. Click enter. Now the target environment Azure Public, Azure US or Azure China. Not, neither we are moving in US government nor China. So selecting one. Here set up uh, with public endpoint connectivity or private endpoint connectivity. So we don't have any private endpoint connectivity. I'm going with the public endpoint. Second is you have to set up appliance to discover assessment. AWS is to an Azure project with default connectivity on Azure public cloud. Yes. Okay. Yes to continue. So it will take some time to configure it. I'm just increasing the speed of video. Here you can see many parameters are getting installed. Now here it is saying this browser is not supported. You want to install Internet Explorer? No problem. Uh, I'm going with a no option as of now. Well, I don't want to install the Internet Explorer browser. No. Okay. Okay, it is skipping that part. No error. It's a warning. Just skipping the installation of this part. Okay, you can see the message. Uh, our installation is successful. Now I'm running the secondary file for registry with PowerShell again. So it will clear the registry configuration in your server. Once it is done, it will open a console where we can see the configuration part or the parameters we have to configure. Okay, it is checking connectivity to Azure, sync with Azure. Now here we want to here we have to use the key that we have generated. Copy it from Azure and paste it here. Click on verify. So it will verify the communication between your appliance and Azure. It will take some time. I'm increasing the speed of video. Okay, it is done. Now the next step is to log in with your Azure credentials. Make sure you have the admin credentials for your Azure. To register the appliance okay copy the code and just click on login here you have to copy the code and use your credentials username and password for your azure account here i'm using my account password for same Okay, this is for verification and there is a code i have received on my email id this is just for verification verify it once it is verified it means like your appliance is registered with azure now you can close this window okay it will take some time as you can see this can take up to 10 minutes after the registration the next step is to manage the credential and discovery sources here we have to put the credential of our server which we want to migrate in azure and here you credentials for os so let's create one more vm in our aws account which we will use for migration or we can say which we will migrate in Azure. So here I'm creating a new VM with the name of web server. Again, Windows. 
you can select any configuration same key pair and the existing security group i'm gonna use okay let's create the instance again it will take some time okay uh, let me increase the speed of this video now our instance is ready we have to use the username and password I'll get my password using my key pair file. So this username and password I'll use. I have copied the password. Here friendly name is again I'm giving on server name that is web server. Password uh, username is administrator and password I have copied so save this credential file now the next step is adding discovery source once the credentials are added now add discovery source below this you can see sql server instance so we are not migrating any database or any web apps so i'm disabling this option okay Let's go with the discovery source option. Add discovery source. Here we are migrating only one server, so I'm going with a single item. You have to mention the IP address of server which you want to migrate. We can take the private IP of the instance. This is the IP of our instance which we will migrate. This is IP and the credentials we just saved. Okay, save this file. Okay, once these all are done, you have to go down and just start discovery process. It will take some time in this process. let's go back in our azure console okay we have completed these four steps here we are not able to see anything as of now because it will take one or two minutes so we will refresh it and we will wait for some time okay now you can see here the total appliance is one appliance has been registered but it is not showing our windows server so what we will do we will refresh one more time and here you can see it is showing our one windows server discover server is one correct you can see the configuration this is a server but it is giving a warning data not available file server okay no problem and status is discovery in progress okay next thing what we have to do we have to create the assessment for this vm where we'll find out the dependencies discovery source is from aws now here we have to configure the target setting where you want to migrate your vm saving option i'm going with none and rest of the option you can configure as per your requirement okay now we have to select the vm series so i'm going with the sv4 series okay license option hybrid okay yeah that's all so let's save the settings
create the assessment here you have to give the assessment name so I'm giving AWS to Azure assess next is group name you have to define select your server this is our appliance okay review and create the assessment task again it will take some time our group has been created successfully let's go back and see server database and web apps here you can see we can see our group that is one we just have created if you click on that you can see the assessment group and this vm is the part of our assessment group Next, it is showing the dependencies uh, what is the dependency in this server which we are migrating so you can check the dependency and download this agent in source machine you can go step by step first it is asking okay a blue agent on on-premise machine agent associate a log analytic workspace with project okay let's create a log analytic workspace so here we have to give the name the location of workspace I'm going with East US or Southeast Asia. We can select, it's up to you. Let's configure. Once our workspace is created, the blow to task you have to perform. You have to install the MMA agent and the dependency agent in our source server. okay our deployment is in progress here you can see the discovery also completed or you can check the assessment part under assessment you can check the azure vm so after some time i'm checking it so it is showing our one vm readiness so it is showing our vm is 100 percent ready to migrate so assessment is done we are good for the migration and replication of this service maybe we will see in next video that's all for today's video please let me know in comment box if you want the second part for this video where i will explain the replication and migration process for this vm till then enjoy this video see you soon